So let me quickly show you how to solve a system of equations using Python and we are going to be using the NumPy module. So this is something you have to first represent it in this way. So basically we have AX is equal to B. So in this case, we need to create the matrix A. So it means we are going to represent this equation like this. We have two, one, one. That's a coefficient here, the coefficient here and here. We have one, three, two, we have two, one, two. And then we're going to have this matrix like this. And this is what we call the, the unknown. So the variable matrix is X, Y, and Z. And you guess what next is that we have to create the result matrix is going to be 1, 8, 0, 3, 100, and 2, 4, 0. So this is exactly what we have right here. So basically in Python, once you're able to create this matrix and this matrix, you can simply solve solve literally in Python, you can solve for x by saying uh, x is equal to b over a. All right, another method to solve it, you can also use a numpy, numpy, and we are going to be using the linalg, lin, linear algebra dot solve, linalg, linalg dot solve. All right, let's put this into practice. So once you represent your matrix in this way, I'm going to represent the array this time. I'm going to say A is equal to, so I'm going to create a two by two. So we have these, we have comma, we have these, and we have comma. So we have one square bracket for each of the rows. So we have, in this case, we have two, one, sorry, two, one, one. And in the second case, we have one, three, two. And for the last one, we have two, one, two. All right, so these are matrix A and I'm gonna run it and our matrix B is going to be, is also a two dimensional array. In this case, we have only one item for each of the rows. So I'm gonna to have to do this and this and this as well. All right, I'm gonna close the last one. I think it should be fine. So equality sign here, so we have take out this, great. Okay, so here we have only one item, one, eight, zero, and here we should have 300, and here we should have two, four, zero. So this is our matrix A and B. So I'm going to also run this. So our X now is going to give us, uh, so let's use linear to solve. So before I can use linear, I'm, I'm going to import NumPy. NumPy is a model for handling arithmetic operations in Python. So I'm going to say import NumPy as np, so I'm going to run it as well. So here I'm going to say x, which is a solution to this equation, is going to be, um, which is, of course, we have x, y, z, x, y, z, is going to be np dot lean alg, lean alg the solve. So when you specify the solve, you want to specify the two matrices. In this case, it's going to be A and B, all right? So let me see, I think I'm getting it. Yeah, perfect. So I'm going to run it now, and I can simply look at the value of X, Y, and Z, X, Y, and Z by printing it out. So X, Y, Z, and you can see X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, so that was my mistake here, okay. So the values for x, y, and z is 60, 0, and 60. I'm going to just try to use this method for b over a. I've not tried it before, but let me just try it. So I'm going to say x, y, z, 2, x, y, z, 2 is equal to b over a. Let's see. I'm going to run, and it does not work. So it doesn't work for now, but for now you can see that you can use linalg to solve a linear algebra. So I want to recommend you try to solve some other problems yourself and this is uh, how you get used to it. So every day I'm going to be creating one nugget of mathematics using Py uh, Python solution to mathematical problems and the more you solve the better. So I'm going to stop here. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any challenges please leave me a comment below. 
I remain kind to the genius and I'm always there for you.